last hour you were talking about um, basically is it is there a point where somebody's too rich? It, it, does it affect my life materially if somebody has much more money than me? And I would say in general, uh, no. It doesn't matter to me how much some, my neighbor has or the guy that lives up on the hill above me has or, or whatever else. The only thing that I would, there's a caveat in there for me, which is if they've gotten their money um, through basically government coercion, so they've, uh, hmm. they're the CEO of a company and they've convinced a politician to create, create laws that, that favor them at the expense of their competition, then I would say at that point, they have too much money that is ill-gotten money. That's a good point. Um, I'll I, give you that one. I don't, I don't begrudge anybody any money that they earn for themselves through their own diligence, hard work, whatever. Uh, but when they get uh, their government friends in on passing laws that make it more difficult for their competition, at that point they've got too much money that isn't there. Yeah, we often say on the show there are three types of rich people. The people who inherit their money, um, which nobody seems to have, uh, nobody seems to, they don't hate them or anything like that. They just don't have much respect for those type of people. The people that uh, earn their money in the marketplace, providing goods or services that other people are willingly exchanging money for. And and people seem to want to lump those in with this third group that you've defined, those that have used relationships with politicians and bureaucrats to stuff to line their pockets, who, who have used coercion, as we described describe it here on the show, um, to, to aggrandize themselves. And those aren't the same groups at all. One group is helping humanity. The other group is using the power of force and violence to, to enrich themselves. But doesn't that second group, if they're really doing a good job at what they're doing, don't they usually become the third group by, you know, if they're good businessmen... And there's that's an outlet right there. That's a money making outlet. If you're gonna if it if it costs this much to actually create a new product and I can spend this much to send up a lobbyist to DC, you know, a lot of well, times it's I mean, the same. We see that happen, Conan, but it's certainly not every successful businessman who gets into lobbying politicians. Some of them are just, you know, they're more interested in focusing on their business than focusing on Washington DC or Tallahassee or whatever state capital on uh, the politicians there. Jeremy, great point tonight, man. Thanks for sharing.